Well, it's the end of January and I have just about recovered from Christmas. It's time for a bit of reflection and to start thinking about future projects. 2022 was a pretty amazing year for the channel. We went from just under 20,000 subscribers to almost 27,000. We've also had almost 800,000 views, with around 30,000 hours of watch time. That's pretty amazing. Thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing, it means an awful lot to me. Thanks also to PCBWay for continuing to support the channel. We've had quite a few PCBs from them in the past year, and I've even been trying out some of their 3D printing services. As always, they've been great to work with, and I can't help but recommend them. In terms of videos, I've got a few favourites that I'm pretty pleased with. The Wordle solving robot was brilliant. One of those things that just seems to fall together and work really well. The Jumbo 7 segment display project was also great fun, particularly the videos building up to it where I was generating quite high voltages. I learned an awful lot and I only killed one ESP32. The prize for the most bonkers video has to go to the spinning holographic LED fan. I'm not often scared, but with this one I was terrified. I'm sure you've also got a favourite, let me know in the comments. All in all it's been a pretty great year for the channel. So what's planned for this year? Well, in no particular order of priority, this is what I've got on my list. When we kicked off this channel, I had a real focus on using audio on the ESP32. It's now been several years, and a lot of my sample code has suffered from bit rot and is out of date. I think it's time to revisit this area and bring everything kicking and screaming into the present day. So watch out for some more audio videos. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Staying on the subject of audio, I thought it might be fun to do some audio projects using the Raspberry Pi. It's got a lot more power compared to the ESP32, and even more excitingly, it looks like we'll actually be able to buy some this year. I've got quite a fun project in mind, so it should be pretty interesting. Keeping with the Raspberry Pi theme, I've got all the bits I need for a DIY microscope. I've had a lot of use out of my Andon Star, but I think it could be quite interesting to build my own using the Pi's high quality camera. I think using a Pi will give me quite a lot of flexibility, and I'm hoping I'll be able to record from the camera and microphone at the same time, which will be great for shooting videos. The Word or Solving Bot project was really interesting. I thought it might be good to do a bit of a deep dive into how you can use your own 3D printer as a robot. You can do some pretty amazing things, and it's really easy. I did make the mistake of trying to do everything over Wi-Fi when I did the Word or Bot, when I could have just done it over USB and made it much more reliable. So stay tuned for that video, I think it's going to be really useful. I've been really happy with my MHP30 Mini Hot Plate from Miniware. It's been working really well, but it is tiny. I've got all the bits needed for a much larger DIY version, so I'd like to get on with that and try soldering up some larger PCBs at home. I'm also thinking of investing in a proper re hot rework station, so any suggestions for a good one, please mention it in the comments. My new soldering iron uses a USB powered livery, as does the mini hot plate. I don't really need the hot plate to be portable, but it would be nice if I could power the soldering iron more easily. I've got some pretty big lithium cells and a control board to make a DIY power bank, so we'll add this to the list as well. This may just form part of another video, but there may be enough content for a full one. Let's see what happens. I replaced the batteries in my old keyboard with a rechargeable version last year, and I've had the bits for doing the same to the trackpad sat on my desk for ages, so I want to get around to this and break my nasty battery habit. I made this nice e-paper weather display a couple of years ago. It works really well, and it's really power efficient. It only needs charging up every few months, but after playing around with the solar powered Christmas lights, I think I can improve on that. I'm going to try out a power scavenging board that should let me collect a lot more power from these small solar cells. This should let me get away with never charging the weather display. Pretty cool. We're going to continue the experiments with the PCB motors. Hopefully we're getting closer to having something that will work well enough to create a haptic knob, but we still need to do a bit of testing and experimenting. But it's progressing nicely, so watch out for these videos. Staying on the haptic knob project, we want to be able to detect strain in the PCB. My partner in crime has been doing some experiments using surface mount resistors to do that. It's pretty interesting stuff, so I think a bit of a deep dive into that would be fun. I've also been accumulating all the parts to make a sand table. These are amazing pieces of installation art. All I'm really missing are some laser cut parts and a nice enclosure for it. When I did the super size LEDs project, I got a bunch more PCBs made up. I was planning on making a giant calculator. I think we'll probably get round to this sometime this year. My fingers are crossed for this one. I'm still messing around with wireless power. 
I did try and make my Christmas lights charge up wirelessly, but something went horribly wrong and I just ended up making magic smoke. I've got some new wireless boards to try out and this time I think they might work quite nicely. So that's the immediate projects I've got components for. Obviously this is all subject to change and there's a bunch of other blue sky projects that I've got rattling around in my head. So who knows what will actually get built from the known list and what other projects will come up. I'm still pretty interested in what's happening in the world of AI. There's lots of fascinating things going on. So maybe we'll dig more into that area as well. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.